Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to create Posidio wrinkles in Blender. So yeah, I have this, uh, let me just play for you uh, the animation I did. I can see how the wrinkles look here. I think they came out quite nicely. I also rigged the, the mesh so that you can see how uh, they work with the deformation and I think uh, the animation looks uh, quite nice. So this is what we have and uh, uh, the viewport is very slow because I have a subdivision surface turned on and uh, But just to show you how procedure these are if you are done with the wrinkles You can just apply them to the mesh and uh, then you don't have to worry about uh, the viewport resolution So you can see how this side is smooth while it bends here and you can change you can change the wrinkles if you want uh, I have an empty that controls uh, the position or uh, the look of the wrinkles let me just reduce on the resolution of the viewport here. You can change the wrinkles, scale them up. Let's see how this looks with a high resolution. Still looks nice. You can make the wrinkles very small or very large. And let's say you want more wrinkles on this area. All you have to do is go to weight paint and uh, paint that area as well. So uh, you just have to make sure that you're painting uh, the wrinkle, the, the, the group you have set uh, for the wrinkles. So let's give this a full weight. And that will determine whether you add more wrinkles or let's, let me just turn off this display and uh, first reduce the light viewport here. So you can get rid of wrinkles like that or you can add them by just painting on more you know, like that. So if I wanted to reduce the wrinkles that, that are here, I'll just have to change the weight paint. And you can see we have less wrinkles. And uh, you also have control over the displacement, how much, how strong you want the wrinkles to be. You don't want to make it too much, so let's say 0.2. And uh, you can play around with the wrinkles. So let's dive in into uh, the, the tutorial and see how we can get this. Um, basically, this is just uh, to show you how you can even make them look worn out in this example here. So let's get into the tutorial to show you how you can make the wrinkles. What you're going to do is just add a cube. You can use anything you want uh, to apply the wrinkles to. But we're just going to use uh, this. I can add a subdivision surface and uh, add in a few support loops. So this technique can work very well if you're creating something like a, a sofa set with a few wrinkles in some areas. Add a second modifier, subdivision surface, uh, so that you get more resolution. If you turn on optimal display, you'll see how much resolution you have added in, and, uh, just for visualization. And then you can add a displacement modifier and then create a new displacement texture. I'm just going to use clouds for this. Uh, the strength is a bit too high right now, so we can go to the strength and reduce it to something like 0.01 or point, uh, yeah, something like that. Now, to control the wrinkles, we just have to add an empty, empty, drag it up like that, and uh, go to the displacement coordinates and change them to object, and then select the empty as your object. Now, if you scale this up, you can see that uh, the displacement also scales, but uh, if you scale this in one single direction, you distort uh, the noise or the cloud's texture in that axis. So let's do that on the X axis and the Y axis as well. And then on the Z axis, so that we also get these vertical wrinkles. Uh, if this is too large, you can go to the disp to the empty data and reduce the scale from there, the display scale from there. That won't affect uh, the displacement itself because we're just changing the icon instead of uh, the empty transformation data. I'm going to scale this on the x-axis just a bit. Now we can also go to the displacement texture and play with the scale there as well. I think uh, the wrinkles are coming in class. Now you can play with the contrast of the texture. 
if you want harsher wrinkles or and if you turn on the car ram you can also make adding some contrast in the wrinkles as well now the resolution uh, is not high enough so if we added more resolution we get more detail and you can see how our wrinkles now are more detailed now they don't really look like wrinkles because they are everywhere and I usually find wrinkles in areas where are the mesh folds so what we can do to do this uh, we can add uh, some white paint so basically what we have to do is uh, select what parts of the mesh get the displacement and uh, so for that we can set up a new vertex group and then go back to the displacement and set that as a vertex group and now we can go to the weight texture with weight paint and paint where we want are the are the wrinkles for example you can paint uh, this area here and if i turn off the overlays i can see just the wrinkles uh, if you're seeing these sharp areas try to play around with your car ramp or with your contrast from the car ramp so that you don't have those flat areas like that and also play with the scale or the depth to get smaller wrinkles in and, uh, so we can also I think add some wrinkles now uh, you see that uh, we have some sharp edges sharp, sharp areas here and, uh, that's because our weight paint has some sharp areas as well so you can just go under weight and then smooth out the weight so that you get rid of those sharp areas if you get rid of that you can see we still have a few of those but uh, we can again use smooth you can we can smoothen them and get rid of those sharp wrinkles or sharp areas I'm going to paint on to this side as well so we can get some wrinkles there as well and uh, after you're done you can you know, apply all the modifiers by using ctrl a uh, visual shoot to geometry if you want to add more uh, details for example let me just use uh, the original files that i spent a little bit extra time on uh, so so this still has all the modifier stuff and you can see there is not no difference here and you can look at uh, the different settings i use because i think the wrinkles on this one i think came out far better than what i was showing you uh, if i get out rid of the amateur you can see how this looks and uh, the settings i use here and if we go to the displacement you can see the cloud text i used and the scale then how the car ramp is set up and for this one here it's a, a duplicate of this and the only difference is that i, I applied uh, the displacement and all the modifiers and uh, the reason i did that is because i wanted to paint to do a vertex paint a dirty vertex paint uh yeah paint and uh, if i go to vertex paint you can see how that looks it just gives me uh, a mask of uh, the wrinkles that then i can use for creating for adding worn out areas or worn out details uh, in the material or in the shader so you can see you can use it to make worn out uh, materials here just control make the material look worn out but by first uh, painting uh, the set vertex dirty vertex colors uh, to get that dirty vertex group uh, which you can access under the attribute yeah and uh, that's it thank you for watching